Hey, welcome to Focus On Suppliers, brought to you by Eighth and Walton. You know, no matter where you work, I bet you live and breathe by the data that you pull every week. One of the big revolutions happening in retail is this move toward new big data. And here to tell us more about it and some of the shifts that are happening, Mike Elgus from IRI. Mike, thank you for being on the broadcast. Thanks so much for having me. I want to talk about this new big data. What is the difference between what we're calling old big data versus new big data? Uh, so we think of old big data as being very category focused and very structured. Um, if you think about retail um, and the systems that support it, it has been you know, specialists with a very rigid discipline. And uh, you, you end up with systems that don't talk to each other, right? You've got a system for buying, you've got a system for shipping. A lot of the insights work that goes on happens somewhere else. And so in that old big data world, it's just very hard to bring things together. If you want to do a complex uh, look at something, it's probably about extracting data out of multiple systems to try to bring it together. Well, then now you want to bring it together. How do you then compare that to what we're calling new big data? So we think the key to new big data is bringing the customer view in. It's got to be a customer centric view that you bring into that traditional product discipline. And so what that involves is starting to bring these systems together so that someone can do analysis in one platform, drawing on what's happening from POS, what's happening from supply chain, and most importantly, what's happening at a household level with a transaction based view. And now you can start to really understand which customers, the who behind you know, the, the what is happening in your business. So when you and the team at IRI are looking at the industry as we see it today, who's doing new big data well? <laughs> well, it's hard not to talk about Amazon, right? Oh, let's talk about Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> and I think in, in fairness to the rest of us, I mean, they have built a platform that was designed for end to end, and it was designed to connect all the pieces. A customer can log on and tell you whether they like a product or not. A supplier can get feedback in almost real time as to whether they're priced right, whether they're you know coming back in a search, which gives you an idea of how you're presenting the product. And ultimately, it's easier to connect that interaction digitally to things that you're selling digitally and know, you know the impact that you're having. Well, and you talk about that that's kind of an e-commerce and online company, but when you're working with someone in brick and mortar, who's doing that well with the big data? So I'll tell you, there's a lot of folks that I think are getting pieces of it really right, including right here in Bentonville, where you know Walmart has invented some of the tools to connect uh, media campaigns to what happens at the register. And we are trying to kind of look at what is working in the online space and say, how do you make that connection from offline to online? How do you have a platform that allows you to bring it together the same way an e-commerce platform can? And that's what our liquid data platform was built to do. So as a supplier or a retailer, I'm stuck in the old big data. What does it take for me to now get to that new big data format? So our systems are available for retailers and for suppliers. And what they do is essentially take these different data sets, again, whether it's coming from the store or coming from transaction or logistic, and bring it into one platform that then holds it in memory. And what that does is allow you to query things very quickly and to query across data sets. And so that's what's starting to make the uh, these connections between um, what the customer is actually doing and you know what's happening in the store. Well, Mike, I want to ask you about what you just touched on a little bit, the IRI liquid data. With the clients you're working with, why are you finding that they're sort of gravitating toward the IRI liquid data versus other solutions? Yeah, let me talk a little bit about retailers because um, you know it's a big decision whenever you make systems changes. I think people have lived through ones that went well and ones that did not. Sure. Um, ours is actually relatively easy. Um, I think the Build versus buy is the decision that most retailers have, have wrestled with. We've talked to them, and around here I always like to start by saying we are EDLC. Uh, we believe that we can install a better system more efficiently than someone that hasn't done this work a dozen times or more like we have. And so we, we promise to be able to put it in in a way that uh, is cost effective. And then, you know, when you think about uh, the constraints on the engineering and data science teams at most retailers, you want to be able to outsource where you have somebody you can trust to do that. Because not only is the build difficult, but the maintenance is hard too, and that never ends because the technology keeps changing, right? 
Um, you know, and then secondly, they look at how flexible is the system. And I think increasingly what our uh, clients are telling us is you guys have got the right base system in place. I can now run my own proprietary de data science on top of it. And that's something that's a little different about our system. You can actually bring data science directly into the platform. You don't have to export. So that's where you really get to that competitive advantage that they're looking for. And then finally, the, the business results. I think the industry is starting to hear the success story. And so that makes you more willing to, to hear the proposition, right? And and then kind of going back to the simplicity of it all, what does this app look like on the side of the retailer? So we have about 50 different uh, processes and applications that are run on top of this liquid data platform. And all of them have a certain amount of flexibility to them. Some of them, like in my world, are, are really well defined. We have an audience builder tool that is very intuitive to go in and say, I want people to buy this and not that, do combinations. Others are you know, a series of reports that take you through the thought process of, hey, I have a new item, where is it selling, who is it selling to, how incremental is it, et cetera. Again, what's the great balance of the system is it starts with about 2,000 data science algorithms preloaded, but then allows you to iterate from there and bring your own proprietary data sources, your own proprietary analysis into it. And so it's that combination that really gives you a competitive advantage uh, using our applications with your own kind of processes of how you do things. Ah, Mike, great stuff. We appreciate you being on the show today. Thank you. Thanks so much for having me. Thank you for watching. Ready to take your next step in your journey with Walmart? Contact us at help at